biggest one would be Andrew Tate. Like, I'm friends with Andrew Tate personally. Like, um, great guy, everything. I've always had his back from everything that's happening to him, no evidence. And uh, I see a lot of people turning their back. Don't get me wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit, okay, I apologise, I got it wrong. But I've been in his presence on a few occasions. I can understand the energies and how people function and the way they act. And listen, he's a strong character. I would, I would rather have Andrew Tate at the forefront than some people who's talking absolute shit online. Like, how did your relationship with Andrew start? Uh, so Andrew DM'd me one day and he says, I love your work. And he was following my content four years ago, three years ago. And he hadn't yet blown up. And then he messaged me. We started communicating. And then uh, uh, all of a sudden he was blowing up at this point. You know, he was, you know, like all over the place. I'm like, this guy is an incredible communicator and storyteller. Wow. I like what this guy has to say. And then he got canceled. The moment he got canceled, at that point, him and I and his brother were in communication regularly. We're regularly talking, you know, communicating through text and DMs. And uh, we got uh, on and we decided, let's do something. I'm going to come to uh, Spain because he can't come here. We went to Madrid. We did the interview together at the Cigar Lounge. And then it went live. And obviously that thing's done uh, uh, wonders. Uh, uh, 12 million plus views, not including all the other short clips. Total, it's probably got a few hundred million views online with TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all over the place. But, uh, you know, he, here, here's the thing that most people have a hard time with. Most of us have a hard time with. Almost anybody that does something big, uh, they're a complicated personality. They're a complicated individual. Churchill was a very complicated man. But it took a Churchill to go up against Hitler. You're like, what are you talking about, Pat? Go read Churchill's history. That is a very weird man. Chamberlain hated Churchill. They don't like Churchill. There were people that couldn't stand him because he would always call everybody's shit. But when he came down to war, Chamberlain had to go beg Churchill to go do his part. And he did. Uh, you know, Trump is a complicated personality, right? John F. Kennedy, complicated personality. When you go and read his story and who he was and what he did. Thomas Jefferson, complicated personality. Andrew Jackson, complicated personality. A Musk, complicated personality. Ted Turner, so many names. So, and Andrew Tate is complicated. Uh, personality, his upbringing, how he was raised by the father, by the dynamics of the father, how he pushed him, how he challenged him, what they went through, what they saw, became fighters and going from there to becoming who they are and their belief system and philosophies, ideology. Um, so I'm surprised when people are surprised. Like, what do you expect somebody that's not afraid of authority? What What do you think causes somebody to not be afraid of authority and be able to call them out? What What, what is that a byproduct of? A rough life. What do you think makes a great comedian? A very hard life. If there's one thing comedians have in common, they lived such a hard life that to cope with tough times was humor. Some people cope with hard times with drugs. Some people cope through hard times with alcohol. Some people through, uh, deal with hard times through fighting and beating people up. And some people fight through tough times through humor. That's why Kevin Hart had an interesting life. Dave Chappelle, George Carlin, you go look at their stories. It's weird. They didn't live an easy life, right? So for someone to be that confident and a true believer to push the envelope the way he has, you think you're going to go to a college to get a degree to be that tough? No. You, you think you think you're going to go take a course on Udemy to become that tough? No. You think there is a hundred of the best YouTube videos to watch on how to be mentally tough to become mentally tough? You're out of your mind. The only way to be mentally tough and emotionally tough is through a shitty hard life. That's the best way to be mentally tough. Someone in your life had to be very hard or tough on you a coach that kicked your ass regularly, a teacher, a dad, a mom, an uncle, an older brother, somebody, a rough community, a rough upbringing, an industry that was a cutthroat industry. Um, so yeah, I think I think they're super necessary. I had a call with their lawyer last week, uh, Tina and I, we had a lengthy conversation. It was the longest interview they did. And they shared a lot of the, she shared a lot of the insight. 
had a, a very uh, a good conversation yesterday with their PR firm to see what's going on internally with visits and what things that does he have? What does he not have? Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. Here's all I'll tell you. They best get this guy. Cause if he comes out and he's free, Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if he comes out and he's free, what his first live is going to be like? It could break the record. I think a hundred million, a hundred million views. Oh, it'll be a hundred million views on YouTube. He needs a, another one of those. It'll, it'll be the talk of the world on how many people it'll be banned in countries. It'll be feared because if you go after a person like this, you better have proof to arrest them or get them. You don't go through somebody like this because they become a big figure and their message becomes bigger specifically to the people that didn't listen to it before or hated it. They're going to say, why are you trying to silence this guy? And you don't think Andrew's going to come out telling the story. It's going to be interesting dynamics, but obviously, listen, none of us know hundred percent what he's done. None of us know. I'm not the government. I'm not working for agencies. I'm not with the cops. I'm not, I don't know the Intel. If there is something, there is something, but uh, you know, if they can't find anything, it's going to be a very hard uh, um, season for those that try to silence this guy. Yeah, because anybody who gets cancelled, the kind that they're forgotten about, he got bigger. He got bigger. He'll be even bigger when he comes out. That's again if he comes out, because then he is far too influential. And there's people who's been killed off basically for less he is far too big to be out there he is far too big to be spreading a message he will be like a fucking god if he's out and that's the scary thing does he get out are they trying to break him now like it's just scary how far they can go with it all like what do you think the outcome will be patrick from the information that you have and how big he is like what do you think the outcome will be with andrew Tate? well the laws in romania uh, they can extend detention six times for 30 days, which is 180 days. So that's the known on what can happen, which means the six times that they do that for 30 days, that's gonna go for another 90 days. So if we're right now, March 1st, today, assume April, May, June, June is he's still gonna be in, okay? Unless if something happens, they let him out. This Monday, two days ago, they had a decision to release him uh, or kind of revisit what's going on to get some home, you know, house arrest because of his lungs. They said no, and not only that, I think the other two girls also were uh, uh, asked to go back into prison again. I think I don't know if they're 100 percent confirmed that, but that's kind of where it's at right now. Uh, but eventually the government has to stop saying allegedly and saying, here's what they're convicted with. And then the job of the lawyers really start till then, you know, the lawyer that he has, they're not even letting her go see him face to face. She's not seeing them face to face. And when she gets on a call with them, it's recorded always. So imagine you're the lawyer of somebody that you're defending and any conversation you're having with them, the calls are being recorded. Or what can you talk to your client about? Think about what I just said right there. The lawyer can't talk to the client without it being uh, recorded and can't even go there face to face to see them. She's called the embassy of Romania to say, hey, can you help me out here to go talk to this guy? Because he's also got a U.S. citizenship. Nope, we're not doing nothing. I mean, it's, it's, it's very problematic. And by the way, since April of last year, they could arrest the Tates uh, with allegedly whatever they were talking because they've been investigating this for a while since the Vice did their story. But they decided to do it two days after he called that Greta Thunberg. Kind of weird. You could have done it for seven, eight months, but you waited eight months to do it. Why? Why now all of a sudden? You could have rated it. It's always because the pizza. I was never about the pizza. What made you all of a sudden want it? How come you didn't do it in September? Why not in August? Why not in June? Why not in July? These are the questions uh, uh, why the people that support that he's uh, innocent say, yeah, that doesn't, numbers don't add up. If you had something in April, arrest him in April. Why'd you wait so long? So I, I, no one knows really what is going to be happening here. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if they can't find anything, he comes out and the court continues. He can't fully talk. But if he comes out and there is nothing and he can't talk, he definitely cannot stay in Romania. You know, he became a Muslim. So he's out, he, the safest place he's going to feel is a country that supports being Muslim. So he has to go live in Dubai. He has to drop everything in Romania, and go live in Dubai. And somewhere like, you can't stay in Romania. There's no way if you're the lawyer of Tate, you're recommending him staying in Romania. Not coming to the States, not staying in Romania. Where would you go? 
Dubai, Singapore, only a couple of places you can go to to feel safe. He's probably safer in Russia than he's in Romania. So I don't know what's really going to be happening based on the information I'm getting. Uh, we are in talks. Uh, uh, we're getting updates regularly, but uh, there's nothing right now to be said where it's positive or negative. Uh, the only thing is they're holding strong. They're, these are two tough mentally and emotionally brothers that they see each other every day. They're not in the same cell, I believe, but they do see each other every day. That's good that they're around each other because they strengthen each other. But no matter who you are, man, you have no clue what they're doing to them right now. So it's, it's time will tell what's really going on there.